This Sunday is the first proper stage of the 2012 Tour de France after the prologue in Liège yesterday. Today is a 198-kilometer loop between Liège and Surin, a town in the Liège suburb. The route is less flat than one could think, with five category four climbs, including a final 2.4-kilometer long ascent at 5% on the long straight line that will be the climax of this stage. There will also be an intermediate sprint at kilometer 116. From the beginning, six men break from the pack. Yuan Zhen of Europe Card, Pablo Urtasun Perez of Earth Cartel, Maxime Boué of H2CR La Mondiale, Nicolas Ede of Cofidis, Anthony de la Place of Sour Sojason, and Michael Morkov of Saxe Bank. The latter is the most dangerous of the break as he is only 24 seconds behind Cancellara at the general classification. But the gap between the front of the race and the pack melts. Led by Cancellara's Radio Shack teammates who protect their leader, the peloton gets closer. At the bottom of the Lernieu climb, the third difficulty of the day, the escapees are just 2 minutes 30 ahead. At the intermediate sprint, which gives no time bonus today, Europe Car's Yuan Genet leads and clinches the points that make him tie with Cancellara at the point standing. Soon after the sprint, the Radio Shack team increases the pace. The gap narrowed from 4 minutes at best to only 1 minute 34, 50 kilometers from the finish line. In pursuit of the breakaway riders, the Radio Shack team still protecting Cancellara, the Liquid Gas who tried to position Vincenzo Nibali, and the Sky Riders who intend to take Mark Cavendish to the final sprint. The junction takes place 10 kilometers from the finish line. The first break of the tour ends and another race begins. The peloton is now led by the Lotto Belisol riders. The last part of the course in the streets of Surin is far from easy and the sprinters have to hang on in order to be in the starting blocks. In the last two kilometers, Sylvain Charanel makes his effort in vain. Fabian Cancellara now attacks and the yellow jersey bearer is followed by two men only, Peter Sagan and Edvald Boissenhagen. They are the trio for the sprint. Cancellara is the most experienced, Wesson Hagen is a crafty one, and Peter Sagan is the fastest. The latter crosses the finish line first. At only 21 years old, the young Slovakian who lives his first Tour de France takes the win of this opening stage. The last time Slovakia saw one of his riders win a Tour stage was with Jans Vorada in 1998. The country may well have a new star with Sagan.